Hello again, everyone, and welcome to another quick mini episode on Let's Talk About Us with Uche. So this is another mini series on Uche's quick takeaway. So I'm going to be really quick and really brief. So I was scrolling through Instagram. I'm seeing all these blogs about uh, potential divorce going on between Cardi B and uh, Offset. I will give a disclaimer. I'm not a bearer of bad news, nor do I rejoice when I see bad news. But at the end of the day, I'm a realist. I keep it real. As a person who whose parents went through a really nasty divorce I, I understand that it could take a toll on people you know it's not the best thing to, to have to live through not from either one of the the, the couples divorcing and it's not fun for the kids so I I can definitely empathize whenever a divorce is on the table but I'm also going to keep it real I'm surprised that this the struggle as marriage lasted this long I'm just going to keep it real and the reason why I'm making this episode is just look ladies no one gives two shits about your wet ass pussy the only person who cares about your wet ass pussy is the person who's trying to get into it right now and when they're done onto the next one okay your wet ass pussy may get you a ring but if that's all you have to offer that ring will slip right off eventually i think they got married around sometime in 2017 and this is 2020 again i'm super surprised that this this struggle ass marriage lasted this long because let's keep it real i've said you knew who she was prior to and her you knew what he was prior to like did y'all think anything was going to be different after you got married i mean didn't you date prior to didn't you see each other's resume didn't you live with each other a lot of people in struggle ass relationships think for some reason in their head that after marriage whatever struggle they're going through would just magically disappear you know whatever it is that you notice about your your partner and your, your spouse to be as soon as you put the ring on it it'll just disappear and you know it's, it's some magical shit happens and then the marriage just heals everything and, and um, unfortunately once again another innocent kid has been born in the midst of all this mess hopefully this divorce is going to be as peaceful as possible if for no other reason for their daughter you know uh, i understand divorce is really common but sometimes you know um some couples are mature enough to be as considerate and humble and quiet as possible you know for their kids because you don't want any bad blood with your kids you know unfortunately they say that when two elephants fight the grass always suffer you know so hopefully this is not the case you know i hope that they are able to um resolve their issues or maybe divorce quietly in the least problematic way ever you know especially for the sake of that their their innocent child and and for all the people acting surprised and you know well wishers and all that shit i'm surprised yeah surprised you know what i'm saying just like candace owen said no one gives a shit no one cares about your wet ass pussy nobody does absolutely nobody and this is this is a this is a problem that i keep talking about about how this word is so upside down this woman just a few weeks ago or a few days ago she was just celebrating how her song is number one in america or in several countries or whatever you know which kudos to her you know good for her i guess um the song is catchy me personally i think it's trash you know but that's just me you know um i'm not going to sit here and act like a hypocrite because um some of her songs i do listen to even though most of it is trash but let's keep it real trash is what's what's what people want these days the sex is what people are looking for these days you know so a lot of these artists are capitalizing on this demand you know what i'm saying so i don't i don't I, i'm not knocking her for capitalizing on um people's demand and what people are looking for there's nothing wrong with you capitalizing on that that's a business move but the issue i have is having all these young people thinking of that as success you know what i'm saying wet ass pussy and uh hoes in the house you know what i'm saying people are celebrating this i feel like this is the upside down world and you have a lot of these young women and young men looking up to these struggle ass relationships and thinking that's goals you know what i'm saying following these people and following them religiously and and when, when the marriage doesn't work out the relationship doesn't work out yeah i turn around and act surprised what else are you bringing to the table apart from your wet ass pussy you know which half of this shit is fake anyway fake ass fake titties fake this and fake that you know what i'm saying everything is fake but you're looking for true love you're looking for real love i can't make this shit up man this is just so confusing i'm confused you know what i'm saying i'm confused what kind of world is this you know again i'm surprised this marriage lasted this long 
this is no shade against either one of them. This is really no shade, but I'm going to call it the way it is. You know, and it's really sad that we, we as a, as a, as a whole, we're celebrating this kind of behavior. There's nothing wrong with rap. There's nothing wrong with hip hop. But at the end of the day, these are just entertainment. These are entertainment. It's important that we, we consumers, we are able to differentiate between reality and fantasy. That fantasy, entertainment is fantasy. That's not reality. These people, they're performers. They go out there. They help us escape from whatever it is that we're going through. You know, we tune into them. We have a good time. We laugh. You know, we, we dance. We, you know, we get the adrenaline running or rushing while we're at the gym. And you know, as soon as the music is done we go back to our real lives and, and unfortunately you have so many people look up to these people so many young people it's already bad enough that we have um, a lot of broken families we have a lot of kids um, from single families broken families there's not a whole lot of positive images out there especially for black people you know what I'm saying and for a lot of these young black people we tune into media we tune into media to find ourselves and this is the image that keeps that, that that you know that the media keeps perpetuating for black people and unfortunately a lot of young black people are going to look at these and emulate these people as though they're success look at people like future with the seven or eight baby mamas I, I don't know you know with all this bullshit eliza rain i think that's her name you know going back and forth cord and you know looking for child support and all that shit you know th this is this is this baby mama culture this um hoes in the house culture this wet ass pussy culture this sex overly hyper sexualized culture is being praised you know we're seeing this as norm and when it doesn't work out everybody turns around and acts surprised again the point of this episode is to let you know look stop patronizing these people stop stop um stop standing them as your your success story. these are not successful people in my opinion yes they have millions some of them have billions i don't know i guess you know but at the end of the day that's not success that is not success you know your wet ass pussy may get you a ring but if that's all you have to offer you know the ring will slip right off because there's nothing else what what makes you think that your pussy is special it's it's there's nothing special about you but you're not the only one with a pussy and no matter how tight your pussy is somebody else's pussy is tighter you know what i'm saying so if that's all you're bringing to the table you know and once he gets the pussy then on to the next one because there's nothing there's nothing substantial about you there's nothing different about you there's nothing unique about you you know if i'm married to if i'm married to you and i think of cheating i don't feel any type of remorse i don't feel any type of guilt because there's nothing to lose but when you have something to offer something different you know something unique about you then i would think 10 times before i try to do anything to ruin our relationship and potentially you know ruin um our family unit with our kids you know what i'm saying so again ladies stop patronizing this bullshit you know stop looking at these celebrities as as um as success stories because they're not success stories they're not goals you know these are struggle ass relationships with nothing more to offer but sex that's it you know what i'm saying start, start working at yourself as a person you know bring more there's nothing wrong with having a wet ass pussy there's nothing wrong with having a good body there's nothing wrong with having you know being sexual and i've talked about that in previous episodes there's absolutely nothing wrong with that you know we're sexual beings so i think it's absurd to pretend that sex is taboo there's nothing wrong with that but what i'm saying is when all is said and done what else do you have to offer apart from your wet ass pussy what else do you have to offer apart from sucking dick what else do you have to offer what else if you don't have anything else to offer that ring will slip right off anyway this is the end of today's rant please uh please drop your comments down below and let me know what y'all think um maybe i'm the one tripping do you agree with me that we as consumers of entertainment because entertainment is not the problem there's nothing wrong with entertainment do you agree with me that we as consumers of entertainment we need to be able to differentiate between reality and fantasy especially for our children you know there's nothing wrong with um entertainment there's nothing wrong with fantasy so we can escape from you know the craziness of the world but at the end of the day do you agree with me that at the end of the day that it's important that we go back to reality and uh, and also do you agree with me that we shouldn't be standing these celebrities and seeing them as our success stories uh, we shouldn't be seeing their relationships as goals especially when they have multiple resumes of abuse multiple resumes of a whole lot of mess shit you know what i'm saying or do you disagree with me please share share your comments down below because again maybe i'm the one who screwed up you know maybe i'm the one with my ass backward you know so i really i'm trying to figure all this shit out i really i'm trying to figure it out you know and that's the point of this podcast so i can maybe i'm the one confused so please drop your comments below 
Um, and if you have any possible solutions or suggestions, please drop it down below as well. Because, again, I'm trying to figure it out. You know, I'm not knocking anyone. This is no disrespect to either one of them. And I'm not celebrating their divorce. You know, again, nobody wants to ever, nobody wants to go into a relationship, especially marriage, hoping that it will end someday. Absolutely nobody. But at the end of the day, it's important that we hold ourselves accountable. You know, what have we done um, to perpetuate this? I feel like some of the signs were there prior to, you know, so please drop your comments below. Also, please make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification um, so that anytime I upload a video, you'll be the very first to be notified. And also, um, if you're new to my podcast, please make sure to subscribe, download, share uh, with your friends and family. Thank you very much. Until the next episode.